boys and girls, how are you all keeping? I hope you're all doing really, really well. It's Wendy here and I'm part of the family at Causeway Coast Vineyard. And we've been hearing in our story today all about Miriam. And Miriam was Moses' sister. And you remember she was really brave um, because she looked after her baby brother whenever his mum had to put an end to the raids by the river. And she was able to look out for him and go and get her mum whenever the princess found him. And so it was Julie told us the story today, wasn't it? She just did such a beautiful job down by the river, didn't she? But she got soaked when the rain came, poor Julie. So today when I thought about Miriam, I thought we're going to make tambourines because as Miriam got older and, the, and God led the children of Israel through the Red Sea, she sang a song of worship to God and she led other ladies in this song and they played tambourines. And so I thought we're going to do tambourines and we can sing around our house and be lovely and noisy. What do you think? This fun. Look at these. So this is what we're going to do today. So I'll tell you first what we need and then we're going to get started together to make them. So for the tambourine what we need is a couple of paper plates and we need some stickers and we need some pens to decorate it. We need some ribbon if you have it. You could have like ribbon that you use to wrap your presents or well, this is just this is lovely satin ribbon that I have. And then the other thing that I have is bells and I have some stickers for it. Um, now let's see what else do I need. Okay, we need a hole punch to punch the holes into our paper plate, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. We've got some scissors and sellotape here uh, just to seal this in whenever we put our bells or our bottle tops into it to make the noise of the tambourine, because without that, there's no noise. And then we need some lovely stickers. I've got some gem stickers, just other, there's fish stickers and pens for us. And I think that's everything. Yep. I think that's us. That's all we need. So we're going to get started together. I've already started mine a wee bit just to speed it up for us, but I'm going to show you what I did to get there. So you put your two paper plates together so that you've got space in the middle of them. And that's where you're going to feed your bells or your bottle tops. You don't need to use bells. Bottle tops are fine as anything that's going to make a noise inside. And then you need to take your hole punch and you're going to then feed that through and just punch holes into the paper plate. Make sure you push it well in so that the hole's not just at the edge because you don't want it to rip. And push the hole through and I have done this six times around and you're going through both plates at the same time so that the hole goes through that you can feed your ribbons through. Can you see that? Okay. And then you take a couple of ribbons at a time and you're going to feed them. So wait till you see, I have two ribbons and I just cut up these in just the same length. Okay. And you just are going to feed these ribbons through the holes in your paper plates. And when you pull them through, you just tie a knot in them. Now I'm going to show you in a wee minute. What I did in this one is with some of the bells that I have. Now you may not have bells in the house, but I bought these and they were only, I think they were between two and three pounds online. Um, and if you have bells, that's lovely, but if not, you don't need them. I just put fed some of the, be the bells onto the ribbon, and that's why they're on the outside. They can hold on with the ribbon. But other than that, you can just put stuff inside here. So I'm going to pop a few bells inside, now that I've come with the ribbons in, and that's... Do you hear the difference now? Okay, and I'm not going to put any bells on the outside of this, but I'm just going to finish this off um, with these ribbons. So... I've got another two to feed through. You can just take your time. Once you maybe watch the video and get all of your stuff together, you can come back and you can just take your time and, um, and feed these on. And little ones, if you need any help from older brothers or sisters or parents, you get help. They can help you put the holes through and have it all ready for you so that you can just make it. And this is my last set of ribbons. I'm going to put through here. Now, some of you might know Mrs. Strong from being a teacher. And if any of you are her pupils in school, I'm sure it was lovely for you to see her on today doing our story. Isn't it really nice seeing other people on as well, helping me do stories? I have loved seeing them. It's been really great. So this is my last set of ribbons. that I'm just tying a knot in just to hold them on. There we go. Are they fun? These are like fire ribbons, aren't they? Yellow, red and orange. 
Now, what I'm going to do, and this is mainly just for little ones, because obviously with any bells or bottle tops, I don't want any, any little ones choking. So I am just going to put some sellotape on these edges just to stop anything falling out. And so I want you just to be really careful because you don't put these things in your mouth. Sure you don't. They are just for the tambourines. So wait till we see. I'm just popping a little bit of sellotape around each. I just cut some earlier around the edge, around each place where there's a gap. And that will just hold everything in place. Now the next thing I want to do is decorate. So for this one, I put some lovely jewel stickers on this side and then I wrote joy on this side, but you can write anything you want and I just coloured it in because I'm singing a song of joy to God. So I have some lovely glitter stickers here, so I'll maybe put a few of these on. Then I think I'm going to add some other stickers. I might, let's see what I have. Oh, I've got some nice, um, I've got some nice car stickers there I think I might put on. You can do whatever design you like. I'm just going to do all different colours and make it really nice and colourful. Oh, I haven't used that colour. Let's put a couple of them in. One more up here. What do you think? Does that look nice? Okay, let's take some of these stickers here. So I've got, oh, there's an ambulance. We'll pop that one on a tractor. And there's a car, a nice red car. And there's a blue bus. Now let's see, there's a little spotty car, that's cute. And a stop sign, let's have a stop sign. <laughs> there we go, there's stickers on this side. Now on this side I am going to write, sing. Because I am going to sing my song of thanks to Jesus. There we go. And then what you can do is you can take your time. This says sing. And you can just take your time, whatever colour pens you have, and colour it in. I don't want to take too long now, so I'm just going to put a little bit of colour on that. But you can take your time and do it a little bit more carefully. How about that? It's just to show you. down this big long G. Or you could put your name on it or you could give it to somebody. There we go. You decorate it whatever way you want and then have lots of fun being noisy. I hope you have really good fun playing with these, making them and playing with them and hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye.